Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. G'day there. Welcome to Bug Basics number one. Let's start at the beginning. We see many creatures in our garden. So to be good, a good starting point to learn what is the difference between an insect and everything else. And I reckon we should begin with the literature. What is an insect? Birds, reptiles and mammals all have internal skeletons to provide a framework for their bodies. Oh yeah, fair enough. Insects are different. They have their skeletons on the outside. Their soft body parts are protected by a hard case called an exoskeleton. So that is immediately a point of difference between you know, birds and reptiles and, and mammals. But all the arthropods have exoskeletons, so how do we tell the difference between all of them? Well, I think everybody knows that insects have six legs and it has three main body parts. But to really illustrate it, you need a good model insect. And I reckon I've got one right here. Meet Alice Ant. She's Alice because, rather than Adam, because Alice is a worker ant. And worker ants are all female. Non-reproductive, but female nonetheless. So that means nearly all the ants that you ever see running around without wings are females. And she's showing us the characteristics of an insect quite superbly. We can see three legs this side, so she's obviously got three on the other side, therefore six legs. Three main body parts. Starting with the head, which contains the eyes, the antennae, the mouth parts, and so forth. And inside the head is a primitive brain um, that helps to process that sensory information. Then we have the thorax, a very important part for insects, because that's where all the muscles are. And so legs and wings are attached to the thorax. The abdomen, there's this part down the back here, that contains most of the digestive system as well as uh, reproductive organs if they have them. Thanks, Alice. Related to ants are wasps. This is a European wasp, so this is just illustrating what an insect looks like with three obvious sec sections, but with wings. So there they are, attached to the, that thoracic area again. Let's look at a different insect, though. What about this one? This is a mantispid, or some people call them mantis flies. It's not a fly, it's not a mantis. So we've got this weird long neck-like thing, but hang on a sec, let's go in a bit closer. But they look like legs, so legs are always attached to the thorax. So that's the thorax as well as that? That's correct. This is the first part of the thorax, the prothorax. So rather than being a neck, it's just an elongated section of the thorax with the front legs attached to it, which look like uh, mantis, uh, praying mantis legs. And it is indeed a predator. So the thorax goes from here right down to here. And so often things aren't always obvious. But let's look at a couple of other insects. So with moths and butterflies, things can be a bit hard to see, but if we think about the legs and the, uh, the wings always being attached to the thorax, so we follow it down. Same with the legs. So the thoracic region is in here somewhere. Then we can see the head, the eyes, obviously, the antennae. There's the proboscis, mouth part. And then all the area back here is the abdomen, most of which is hidden at the moment. Um, let's look at a different insect. This is a type of fly, a crane fly. One of my favourite insects, actually. Um, and if we think about the wings and the legs always being attached to the thorax, you can see they're all coming out of this area here. Tiny little head, abdomen. Uh, there's a couple of other structures there, but we won't worry about that too much. One more. We should be getting the hang of it now. So wings are all pointing into this area. The legs, they're attached underneath. You can't really see that. But 
there's your thorax, your thoracic area, obvious head with those massive bulbous eyes and a slim abdomen. So we think we know what an insect looks like now, don't we? Except we've only seen adult insects. What about immature insects? Everybody's favourite, the Emperor Gum Moth Caterpillar. And you think, uh oh, our insect model has just fallen apart. Because we've got little legs up here and then there's these bigger legs and then what the hell are those things? This is getting really scary. I can see a head, but like, where's the thorax? Where's the abdomen? Which, mm, that's not making any sense. Some insects have different immature stages. These are bug nymphs. You can see obvious legs, six legs. Uh, it's an insect, but it's looking a bit weird. What? So insects have different life cycles? They certainly do. Which will be a great subject for the next bug basics, because this will really help uh, when you try to identify the immature stages of beneficial insects and not mistaking them for pests. So if you've liked this first Bug Basics, please let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up and all that sort of stuff and subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't already done so. Um, and for the next video, it won't be a Bug Basics, it'll be reverting to normal service where we do our normal stories about a particular type of insect. Until then, thanks for watching.